Architects use a very similar tool for rooms when they want to divide things like corridors or maybe even different living areas from open plan areas in a project. For the building services engineer, however, there can be design implications when doing analysis on even something as seemingly simple as an open plan room. In this exercise, and from the startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Chapter 7 folder, and open Chapter 7 Spaces and Zones. From the Project Browser, browse down in here until you find Level 1 HVAC Spaces, and open the view. In this view, if I scroll in, you can see that I can select the spaces associated with the building. But before I do my analysis, I actually want to create a two meter zone along the edge of the building. This may seem quite daunting at first, but there are tools available to achieve the results that we're after. From the Analyze tab, click on Space Separator. We can now see all the spaces highlighted. And as I said, I want to create a two meter zone along the edge of this building. So let's start by just clicking on a face and drawing a line through until the end of where I want that two meter offset to be. So we've also achieved an error message. Let's read it. None of the elements are visible in floor plan level 1 HVAC spaces. You may want to check the active view is parameters and visibility settings, as well as any plan regions and their settings. What this means is that I cannot see the space separation line. What I could do is go to the View tab, click on View Templates, Manage My View Templates, and then look at the view template associated with this view. This is the HVAC Space Analysis view template. In here, I'll click on the Visibility Graphic Overrides for Model and scroll down until I find lines. Turn them on and click on OK. So this now displays the space separation lines. You can also see that it's cut back the space in each instance across my building where it crosses the space separation line. So I can repeat that by going back to the Analyze tab, click on Space Separator, and then drawing those lines where required. With the space separation lines completed, I'll now need to go back to my design and start re-adding spaces. Remembering to check my upper limit, my offset, and whether I want to create those spaces individually or automatically.